Yes, is that a player who's played for a few different clubs now in the Irish League? Great touch there from Jude Winchester. Finds Billy Joe Burns out in this right hand side. Tyson ball playing into the middle, and it was Jude Winchester who played that pass out to the right hand side, followed up on his run, but got contact but just couldn't direct it and keep keep it down Brandon but very unlucky great great piece of play you know Jude Winchester brings that in, in the midfield there a bit of energy and, and get getting the ball forward early so was eventually come out now to Ross Clark teasing ball in towards Charlie O'Rourke at the back post if he can get something on it and comes out now to Paul Heatley and it is indeed a goal for Paul Heatley in these opening seven minutes you can't say it wasn't coming Brandon but yeah, I think he's just shown a yellow card there as well, the referee. I'm not sure what that's for. Maybe the protest, but... I think the Dungannon players are protesting. Should have been a foul in, in the box, but I think that, that makes up then for the for the one just earlier on, on Ben Kennedy. Hegarty plays it into the feet of Ben Kennedy. He just lets it run on now to Paul Heatley, who slips through Jude Winchester. If he can get a shot on target and he just hits the outside of the post. Paul Heatley once again slips the ball through to Ben Kennedy. He is going to have a go and done done well just to get down at his near post and palm that one away Paul Heatley has stayed down Kennedy finds Forsyth he tries to give the run there to Ross Clark I think Michael Ruddy was more concerned of where the man was than, than where the ball yeah, was his eyes weren't even on yeah. the ball it looks like he's got a wee ritual to these free kicks yeah. Brandon and he doesn't want the superstitious hopefully to be broke hopefully it works here Kennedy uh, just over hit that Ross Clark, Ben Kennedy needs to stay onside, but Clark does really well. Finds a through ball to Philip Laurie. If he can find Paul Healy at the back post, comes out to Jude Winchester. And Good work there by Terry Devlin. And it's now O'Connor. He's going to try and slip through Mark Walsh, which he does. He's only Johnny Tuffy to beat. Great save by Jonathan Tuffy. Once again, gets down close to his body. And it's a fantastic save. Well worked there from from the Swifts but he's far now to Billy Joe Burns he takes it first time and towards the back post towards Paul Heatley and McGee done well just to get something on that but again it's O'Rourke picks the ball up teasing ball into the box towards Kennedy and does indeed get his head to it I think the last touch come off a Swifts player but Kennedy done well to get something on that head Declan Dunn looked as if he was going to gather that one quite comfortable comfortably sorry but I think it just takes a wee nick there and as the goalkeepers dive in, it goes the other way. Nonetheless, Crusaders won't care. It's now 2-0 to Crusaders. Great start. Tuffy up towards Ross Clark. He's up against Roddy. Great header there from Ross Clark. Out now to Paul Healy. He clips it back. Gives himself an opportunity to get a shot away on his left foot and does. But bounces and ricochets only as far to Ross Clark. Comes out now to Kennedy, who taps it in. Doesn't make its way across now. Paul Healy still on his left foot. Gives it back to Kennedy. Paul coming across to Ross Clark and <laughs> it just looked like for a second there that nobody wanted to take that shot on it does right now to Michael Ruddy he spreads the ball well to Reese Campbell who's back on this left hand side he's up against Billy Joe Burns trying to get a shot across and, and does indeed get a shot away and, and it is a goal there for Dungannon just on the stroke of half time from the, from the wings Clark Plays a ball in towards Philip Laurie. Dunn looks favoured to get there and does indeed, but only as far now to Ben Kennedy. If he can have a go from distance, which he is going to do, and there is no doubting that that goal belongs to Ben Kennedy to put Crusaders 3 1 up. Dunn done really well just to get there ahead of Philip Laurie, but his clearance could only find Ben Kennedy out in that right hand side just within the Dungannon Swift's half. He takes a great touch, gets it out of his feet, and from distance, does indeed find the back of the net. Ruddy goes long, trying to find Devlin, who wins his header and finds a run of O'Connor again, who's going to take on the shot, and done well to get the shot away, and Johnny Tuffy had to be alert there, and just palms that one out for a corner Stop kick. Ball. again from Marshall Gillespie, a bit of a milestone for the club. Corner comes in and easy collected there by Tuffy. He's keen to get Crusaders on the counter attack. Falls to Jude Winchester. Billy Joe Burns is just beyond them on the overlap. Winchester finds Billy Joe Burns down this right hand side. Plays an early ball into the box towards Paul Healy. It's a slip there from Devlin and out now to Ben Kennedy. He goes through the legs of Declan Dunn. Ben Kennedy comes out with the guitar. It's the fashionable celebration. 
he'll be looking to that board and saying, have I got the match ball? <laughs> or do I need to get one more? Yeah, <laughs> don't think he's going to be happy again when he looks at that board. Great. He just bring heads up, but only as far as Ross Clark. Burns tries to get that picked out towards the back post, and Kennedy's there, and it's a great touch! And Paul Healy now, with his second of the day, his 16th goal against Dungan and Swifts. It's two for Ben Kennedy, two for Paul Heatley. And five for Crusaders. Yeah, great play there again. You know, Heats and, and Ben Kennedy linking up there once more and Heats getting the final touch. Billy Joe Burns reads that one really well. Finds the feet of Paul Heatley. Now he gives it back to Billy Joe Burns. Dean Abbey's just on the run there, but finds Paul Heatley, who's also won a hat trick. If he can get this out of his feet, gives it to Phil Laurie. And oh, I think the ball just wouldn't come to Phil Laurie. Paul Heatley done really well, but so did Declan Dunn. And a great save there in the end.